Yo yeah, guys, what is going on and welcome back to another episode of the FM Reboot, it's episode number 33 and today we're returning with the season finale as we face the championship winners Brentford in their first ever FA Cup final as we go for our first FA Cup win in over 60 years. So, uh, heading into the game, obviously, on the back of the last episode, after our big 3-1 win over Everton, which counted for nothing after our bottle on the final day, missing out on Champions League final after Spurs beat us by three goals. So when we drop down to fifth, we'll be in the Europa League next season, but the silver lining will be some silverware if we can win it. Once again, uh, Brentford this season have been dominant in the championship. They won it a while ago, uh, as West Brom are going up alongside them, and Brighton uh, to the Premier League, where they finished about 111 points points this season have been an amazing form uh, pretty much all season long winning 34 of their 46 games this is their team for those wondering and again for a championship side there's a lot of quality in there so don't think this is going to be an easy uh, easy walkover for our first trophy of the series absolutely no doubt and again, don't forget they beat Arsenal in the semi-final so their path to get her is included some scalps as well Will they also do it in the final too? Do you know what's funny? In our Norwich save Brentford won their FA Cup final in season one so, yeah, they've got history of doing it. Being a championship side, winning the FA Cup of my save. Let's see if they do it once again. Heading into the game, this will be our team. Everyone is fit for the game, and this is our lineup. We've got Patricio in goal for the final. The back four is... The back four is like Nuri, Big Chris, the captain Connor Cody, and Brandon Williams with Nevers and Forsby through the middle. Traore and Trincao are the inside forwards, and Buendia supports Raul Jimenez up top. We're going for goal number 40 for this season. Can he do it in the final? On the bench, Bettinelli, Eric Bailly, Nelson Semedo, War Prowse, Jordan Nato, and Silver as well. Final game of the season, it's the FA Cup final against Championship Brentford. Massive favourites. We're not going to bottle two things in a row, are we? Come on, Wolves. Ah, I feel confident. I feel confident, to be honest. I mean, obviously, I know that we just bottled the Champions League qualification. And again, Brentford's team is really good, to be fair, for a championship side. But I I, I feel confident. I know they've had scalps on their way to the final, but I feel confident. Firm favourites. And we've got to make sure we make amends as him and Ed's heads Buendia's corner just off target. What I don't want, though, is another penalty shooter. After season one, I think we'd choke it again on the spot kicks. I want a goal in the first half an hour, but unfortunately, that's probably not going to happen. We're 28 minutes into the game, Brentford is standing firm, and it's still 0-0 at Wembley. Poor final so far. Mm. Well, this is not going according to plan at all. We're still deadlocked, and we're about to head into the break. If we could get a goal right before half-time, that would be a huge boost. Adama, Traore down the left. Back heels to White Nero. We know he can cross. And there's Trincao, who heads in the goal to give us the lead. Two in two for Francisco. And I said in the last episode after his goal on the final day against Spurs, Barcelona, please let us take him permanently. If not, just keep loaning him to us. Great cross by Aitnuri. Francisco wins the aerial duel. Bottom corner, David Rea gets nowhere near it. Wolves take the lead right before the break. What a big luxury. Got to guard against complacency now. Don't think the job is done. There's a whole other half to play, and Brentford won the championship with ease this season, so I know they're going to come at us at some point. Come on, the silver lining of the season. Bottle the Champions League, but win our first trophy, and I'll take it. But there's a free kick for the Bees. 25 yards from goal. Rui, hold your nerve. Off the post, and scramble clear by Neves. Here come Brentford. Yep, this is what I was expecting in the second half as the IU brothers link up. And there's Robinson, who just couldn't hit the target. Wolves at the moment trying to weather the storm with 20 minutes to go against the underdogs. Are we the villains out there today? I think we are, you know. <laughs> Zadama Traore storms down the left. And you know when this guy gets going, he's almost unstoppable. Traore holds it up and plays it back to Forsby. Sensible. Forsby and Neves playing a few one-twos between each other as Ruben hits it long to Francisco. And that's a great cross. And oh, Traore could have inflicted the dagger. Quarter of an hour to go and still the lead is won. Free kick. Ruben Neves into the middle. And the captain, Connor Cody, heads it off the crossbar. Come on, Wolves. Brentford on the break down this left-hand side. Cross comes in and Jordan are you? With three and a half minutes to go, is forced an extra time. 
bottling it again. Bunch of bloody chokers, this Wolves team. Absolute bunch of bottlers. Jordan Ayew from six yards out. Ain't going to miss that. Brentford in front. Oh, sorry, Brentford level, sorry. And to be fair, they've been so much better in the second half. Oh, God, he's going to penalties. I just know it. Do you know what? I'm so tempted right now. I've never been this more tempted. But I'm not going to do it. Trusty feminine stance, hands on hips. It's time for everyone to dig in and give everything you've got left. We deserve to win this match. Let's go and do it. I won't make my third and fourth changes just yet. Half an hour extra time to play. And we're tied at 1-1. This, I said it wasn't going to be a walkover. I knew that, but I thought we'd do better than this. And I'm going to make my changes directly as the second half begins. And you know what? I'm, I'm going for it. Um, do you know what? Sod it. Let's go for it. Let's be brave. Fortune favours the brave. Traditionally, let's go for this. Let's go and put Brentford under as much pressure as we can. Never counter press. We're doing it this time. Let's go for this here. Got Fabio Silva sat on the bench saying, Gaffer, bring me on, son. If you're going to do that, Trey, is tiring, so I'll play him as the inside forward. I've got one more change to make. NATO sat there as well. I don't want to take off Trinkaus. What I'll do is I'll uh, change Forsby's role to, in fact, you know what? I'll change War Prowse's role to a box to box to get him further forward. And my final change, I don't really know, to be honest. I think I'll leave it for now. Going to take off Brandon Williams for Nelson Semedo, I think. So, there are eight minutes to go, and we're going gung-ho. Oh, fuck off. Just game, will you just please give me something? You are absolutely joking me. No. Go on, Morton, win that. Yes, big Morton with the big header, and Jordal wins it first. There is a minute of extra time to play. Fabio Silva robs his man. And David Rea tips it over the bar. What a big save from the Spaniard. And we're heading for a penalty shootout. Deja bloody vu. Can't believe it. Well, once again, I'm going to let the boys decide for themselves. And I'm going to say here... Do you know what? Do you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to point the finger at every single one of them and just say, we should be winning this shootout. We should, we should have won the game in normal time. Possibly extra time. Changes are behind the goal. I can't take this. It'll be Brentford to win this on the spot kicks. I'm just going to call it right now. After season one's final shootout loss, we... we, we we're going to do it again. I just know it. Raul Jimenez has 20 for penalty taken. If there were ever two games that summed this series up, you've just seen them back to back. Oh, lifeline. Come on, Francisco. Come on, mate. You are just brilliant. I love you to pieces. Never in doubt. When you're top scorer of 39 goals all season, along with 20 for penalties, misses the first. It doesn't really fill you with much confidence, does it? As Jordan Ayew makes up for his bro's miss and makes it 1-1. So we need to score. Uh, sorry, 2-1. Sorry, so we need to score to put us back on level terms. It's the kid, Fabio Silva, who puts it wide. Can't believe it. I mean, I can believe it. That's the worst thing. I can believe it. I can believe it. Bottle the Champions League on the final day and bottle the FA Cup to the championship winners, Brentford. On penalties for the second year in three. This game is just causing me more heartaches than my exes, Captain Connor Cody. Has just missed a penalty to give Brentford the FA Cup. I can't... Nope, I can believe this. What a bunch of chokers we are. Manager included. My word. Well, you know, the good thing is that we're still playing European football next year. But it's not the Champions League. And our hunt for our first piece of silverware goes on. 
because we bottled the FA Cup final to a team in the second tier on penalties. Again, I've got no words. I've got absolutely no words for this. I mean, uh, <laughs> this has just been like frustration after frustration all save long. Like, there's just been. Oh, I don't want to do the fucking end of season review. I just want to go home. Buendia was the star by this season. I would have actually given it to Bai, to be honest, on a free transfer. That was just an absolute bargain. Emmy really dropped off in the second half of the season. I'm just devastated, man. Absolutely devastated right now. I thought, you know what, if nothing else, I thought, if nothing else, okay, we missed out of the Champions League, we dropped Europa League, but you know what? At least we'll have a trophy to lift. At least we'll have something in the cabinet. We'll have our first piece of silverware. What? Why, why, why am I even, like, slightly surprised at what happened? I can't be. It was, it was written on the wall. Again, the, the thing is, like, if, if you really look at it on paper, it, it's, it's actually a really good season. Like, if you look at it on paper, it's a good season across the board. I mean, we, we reached the FA Cup final. We weren't supposed to do that. We got to the Champions League semis. We weren't supposed to do that. We finished in fifth. The board weren't expecting that, but it's it's the way we did it. Do you know what I mean? It's it's not how we did it. It's it's it's, it's no, it's not doing it. It's the way we did it. We we bottled two things. Well, we'll find out our initial budgets now together, and the board are giving us a monster 85 million budget to play with. And obviously our bank balance has risen massively due to tournament prize money, you know, going far in the Champions League. And also the TV revenue as well. And I mentioned this, this is the big reason why European football at Monu was, was so important. Look at the change here from constantly dropping down month after month in our bank balance to going up and up and up because of, again, the TV revenue. And the prize money you get for playing in the Champions League is massive. We knew it this season. We won't know it this next season. Oh, I can't believe it. So the Champions League final is getting played tonight, I believe. We'll, we'll quickly find out who won that in the end. It was a, an all-English final, Manchester United versus uh, Liverpool. Uh, Bar uh, sorry, uh, Spurs won uh, the Europa League, by the way. Where, where, was the, where was the Champions League final? It's not showing up there. And Oh, it's, it's not being played yet, actually. It's, um, oh, it's, it's on Saturday. Obviously, one of the, the big problems about us dropping out of the Champions League as well is that means that our targets in the summer transfer window are going to be reduced now. Because, as I mentioned before, in FM, one of the reasons why I love it so much is because the competition you play in, the club reputation you are, um, affects whether a player is likely to be interested in signing for your club or not. So being in the Champions League, we'd attract the vast majority of players available. But now dropping to the Europa League, the, the sort of star players, if you will, will not be as interested knowing we've only got Europa League football next year. So Liverpool won the Champions League in the end uh, after Manchester United won the uh, Premier League title this year. At least they have that to celebrate. And that is that. The season is over. And I'm absolutely devastated. Wolves bottled qualifying for the Champions League. Then a week later, bottled the FA Cup to a championship side. Could you have expected anything less from Doxy Boy? Oh my goodness gracious me. But that was this episode of the FM Reboot and Season 3 as well, guys. Do you know what? We go again. We go again. We'll be back in the very next episode with a brand new season. A season 4 at Molyneux will begin with Wolves now dropping in to the Europa League and still going on the hunt for our first ever piece of silverware. How much longer do we need to wait? Choked it in Season 1. Choked it in Season 3. Is season four going to be our year? Well, based on what we've seen so far, don't get your hopes up, boys, because I'm certainly not. Have a great day, though, guys. Much love to you all, and thank you for watching the episode, the season finale, and season three as a whole. And yeah, we will return in the very next episode with the start of season four, a transfer special. I'm going regen and new gen hunting in the, si in the summer. I want a star young wonder kid to bring in some one in you. Have a great day, much love to you all, and I'll see you for a brand new season with a transfer special coming out very soon.